Hi, this is Rye on YouTube, and these are tips and tricks for the Burgers plots in Manor Lords. So let's go ahead and get started real quick. Uh, don't forget to uh, build a church at the, usually the start, right after you get more supplies from building what you need at the start of the game, and a well. But also, you can hit tab, and you can hold it down to see which burger plots are upgradable. And you'll see that as a greenhouse with an up arrow below it. That way you don't have to click through every single building. Okay, and then market stalls. You can actually move these by clicking that little relocate button. And you can put it where you want it. And you actually give it more access to a road by putting that bullseye on the road in order to be closer to one of your burger spots that are further away from that market stall. Let's build one real quick here <clears throat> and say we want to move one of them so it's close to the house that we're trying to upgrade. Just click that relocate button and move it like so. And once you do that, you also want to make sure that you have people staffed in your granary and your storehouses, whichever kind of market stall you're moving, so that they will pick up the stuff that's left on the ground and move it back into either the storehouse or the granary. And then other people that own the stall that was moved will move products into the stall near the house that you're trying to upgrade. And the next thing is for Burgers Plot 2s, you're going to make sure that you have some goats, some goat burgers plots that you've converted to, and a tannery in order for you to have leather. <clears throat> and leather qualifies as clothing at level one. And then the best time to have all the food stall supplies stocked up is usually uh, the end of March, then April and May, while you have berries, meat, and uh, that's a good reason to have some chickens, some chicken plots, just for that reason alone, until you get to level three, then you can convert them if you want to. But uh, all at the same time, while you have berries, meat, eggs, and then possibly bread, if you had a bread farm, <clears throat> that's gonna help you get all those requirements met for upgrading your burgers plots and then also you can pause your game because sometimes the food will run out in the process especially if you're in fast forward and then the food runs out these upgrades are going to disappear until the requirements are met again so if you pause it and then upgrade everything that you have and then unpause it so that you don't miss your opportunity. And then for level threes, make sure that you don't forget to turn some or one of your burger plots into a brewery. Like you can take this, the goat. I'm not gonna do it because I need this as goats because I need hides right now. But you can click that, turn it into a brewery extension in order to transport all of your, <clears throat> in order to turn your uh, malt into ale. And then the tavern workers can use it. Because the tavern workers don't turn malt into ale, they just transport it. And then if you're trying to control how much uh, population you have, uh, one thing, one good thing to know is to watch your population. By clicking the plus sign, you can see your population right here. And normally it takes 36 recruits for one unit. One unit of spearmen. Uh, whatever you're going to make. Like a, a footman, polearm, or archers. But each one is 36. And your retinue is going to be uh, up to 24 right now with this with this update that might change later I don't know 
So as you're building houses, uh, just count them out until you get to 36 for your first unit, and then uh, another population of 36 would so be 72 for two units, 108 for three, so on and so forth. But uh, that's uh, some tips and tricks and reminders for getting from level one to two and two to three. You guys have a great day, and uh, this is Rye on YouTube.